Hi, this is Alan with a quick update. Uh, here's the uh, turbines after they were finally raised on the new 70-foot tower. Uh, as you can see, uh, they're up uh, and working in a uh, in an offset configuration. One uh, is oriented upwards; the other one is down. So they cancel each other out in their output. And as you can see, there's uh, sufficient guy wires in two different places to hold it down. So that's kind of how that's laid out. And uh, right now, we have about, uh, according to the weather channel, between an 8 to 12 mile an hour wind. Uh, so it's kind of fluctuating. There's a little bit of a cloud coming in. So there's, I'm hoping that, you know, we can maintain uh, this kind of a uh, wind because in the summertime here, when it's real sunny, you know, you get maybe 5 to 10 and that's about it. Today we're supposed to get 8 to 12 for now and then later on it may, it may gust up to 20, uh, but I probably won't be around to catch that. So uh, the way that it feels, you can see there's really no microphone noise right now. So, you know, it feels like it's about, I don't know, maybe eight miles an hour, if that. You can see the treetops right there moving. Uh, not a whole lot going on. If you can look at the trees on the other side, uh, barely any movement. So that's uh, kind of what we're getting. So let's see what we're getting here. As you can see, the little red light just came on on the charge controller. Uh, there's a dump load here and it's dumping power out uh, fairly frequently. I got my solar coming in here and I got uh, uh, four more strings to wire which I'll do that this weekend and then I'll show you the output on that. But uh, here's kind of the output of the uh, of the turbines right now. Uh, well it's not a whole lot so the wind must have died down. Uh, let me see if I can get closer. Uh, I'm gonna sh stop it and start it again so it'll focus properly. So here's the uh, the output of turbine one. It's kind of fluctuating. The wind dies down. There's really not much wind in the summertime. Uh, it's fall and winter and spring that this really these things really pay off here in the uh, in this area of Texas where I live. But you can see right now we're you know, maybe getting to 5 amps. Uh, I saw it a few minutes ago, maybe to 10. And here's the other turbine, too. It's hitting about 8 amps on and off. And then it kind of goes back down. And here's turbine 1. There's inverter and the Coleman air charge controller. Uh, you probably heard it in the background clicking on and off. And when it clicks like that, that red light comes on. And when that red light comes on, power is being dumped to that dump load to keep the batteries from recharging. This weekend I will be uh, building a new battery tray for the deep cycle batteries that are uh, going to be coming in. And then next week I'll start wiring the uh, DC voltage limiter and the automatic transfer switch to the big 2 kilowatt inverter and the 240 volt uh, uh, converter. So uh, that's really the uh, update for now. You can see it's hitting about 8 amps or so. About 8 amps here. Very light winds. Not a whole lot going on there. So when you're seeing that, right now it's 10 amps. So you have 20 amps, right? A total between the two, 16 to 20 amps on and off. And uh, 20 amps into probably a good 13 volts. Uh, right now it's over 14 because I can hear the uh, dump load working. Uh, when you see that or you hear that, that means uh, it's over 14.2 volts. So 20 amps into 14.2 volts is uh, 
I don't know, 200 and somewhat watts, I guess, that we're getting out of a very light wind. So they're actually working out pretty well. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.